Oh, no questions? All right, thank you. <laughs> no, no questions. Chris, just talk about the challenges of matching up with guys like Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. Yeah. No, really talented group, you know, and, uh, you know, it was a really talented group the last week and really talented group the week prior. And so that's the challenges that the NFL presents, you know, each and every single week. There are going to be talented people out there. Um, you know, it's always going to be about us. And that's really the bottom line of it. You know, again, us coming out there, playing with our proper technique, executing our assignment, and then we go out and we challenge people. Not doing right and not doing right long enough. So situationally, it was uh, again outstanding, right? Again, third down, red zone, um, but we're leaving too much. We're leaving too much. And so we need to do right and then can't get tired of doing it. So do right longer. And I know you guys aren't making excuses then for not having a couple of your safeties that you usually have out there that play a part in that. No. It's our responsibility to get everybody who's out there on the field ready to play. You know, and I heard a wise man say, when you hit the field, you are a starter. And so, like, you may not be called first, but we have to be prepared. And so, again, everybody's one play away. You know, it's, it, you, all the cliches in the world that we've always heard about that. And it's real. It's reality. So, again, we're doing everything in our power to get all of our guys ready, and, uh, and we will be. Sure, no question. Um, but they said technique and discipline. You know, and the cool part about Paulson is, is he's going to be his own worst critic, right? And uh, it's day one. We step into our room, and, and that's what we talk about. Again, it's, it's eliminating explosive plays. Like that's how we give our team the best chance to be successful. Um, we didn't up, again uphold our end of the bargain, right? And so here, fortunately, we're able to get a victory. And um, so right back to the drawing board, right? So again, how is this team going to try to come back and find those little areas to where, again, maybe we were exposed a little bit last week. So fixable, we just need to make sure that we lock in, we see our indicators, and then, again, do right. Will Marshawn lose a game or he isn't, he isn't playing? How much does that change for you guys can do defensively? Does it change maybe some of the coverages you play? No, Marshawn is a fantastic player, right? And we know what we can count on with him out there on the field. We're also counting on that when the next guy gets on the field. So it is absolutely a next man up mentality. You know, like this defense, as great as, as, as Marshawn is or as great as Cam Jordan is, you know, like the defense isn't a star. The star of the defense is the defense. It's not one particular person. It's all of us collective as a unit that makes us. It's always been a point of emphasis, you know, that we know the quarterback is one of the positions that has been protected right throughout the years and and whether or not, you know, again, the whole right to a situation and all of that, all of that has been a bit of an overreaction. Like we can't change the way that we play, but we always have the understanding and knowledge that the quarterback is a protected player. Yeah, you know, like I said, if, 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 if we get cut off in any particular spot, okay, we need the next man to come in and fill in in that responsibility. You know, it was a, a hell of a play by their offense, you know, so you have to take your hat off to them. But we have guys in position to get people on the ground, and that's what we need to do. It's not going to be perfect, but when we have guys in position, when it's not perfect, again, we need you to get out of there, get them on the ground, eliminate again, eliminate the explosive passes, eliminate the explosive runs, and just give our defense a chance to line up and play again. Chris, you spoke about the emphasis on turnovers, the mentality that goes towards it. What are some of the things moving forward that an NFL team might do when trying to positively impact their numbers in that metric? Yeah, I think it's just in the consciousness. Right, and as simple as it sounds, is as difficult as it is, is when we get to the point of impact, right, and I'm thinking about a hit or I'm thinking about a tackle, well, can we think about the ball? You know, it's a whole lot easier from coverage, right? Again, I'm driving to a guy, I feel the blur of the ball, bam, if I get there before the ball does, catch it. But it's, it's, it's really the contact fumbles, 
right? Again, the aggression that it takes to initiate really heavy contact to knock the ball loose. And then it's also the effort, the effort to get to the ball because it's when the guy is going down to where he kind of loses conscious of protecting it and things of that nature. So all 11 to the ball all the time, and we just need one guy to think about it. And when we get one guy thinking about it, then we need another. And then ultimately, all 11 out there on the field are going to think about opportunities to where if one guy's making the tackle, the next guy's in is ripping and punching and doing whatever we can to get it. Chris, uh, Joe Burrow said yesterday that he recognizes that the big plays don't come that often, so he goes to his check downs mm -hmm. faster than mm -hmm. a lot of quarterbacks. When you have an opposing quarterback who's willing to take the check down mm -hmm. that quickly, is there anything you can do to come back that? Yeah, keep him making that decision. <laughs> Right, like I said, the, the issue comes is, is when he's not making that decision and then he's taking his shots downfield. It's obviously that, again, we're showing something to where he feels comfortable taking those shots. So, um, again, we're going to do everything we can to stay on top, again, force those check downs, and when they come, got to make the tackle. Chris, on the opposite side, check down, the other line struggles and the sack numbers for the Bengals are there. Sometimes, you know, Joe's moving out of the pocket. Um, just like you had the Mario. Man, he's got moxie, you know, so it's like he's, he's got moxie, he's, he's extremely competitive, and he does have a good feel around the pocket. So we're well aware, um, get very similar to last week, right? Again, you wouldn't consider you know, Geno Smith a burner by any means, but, you know, they're athletic and they're crafty and they're looking to get the ball downfield. So when they get out of the pocket, we just have to make sure we stay disciplined, keep our eyes on our coverage, and force them to run, right? Even that way, again, the guys up front, just stay relentless, keep rushing, keep getting after them. We got to keep covering, and we'll get them down. Chris, uh, one time for Baltimore. Go, go back to the, the roughing penalties. You guys understand the quarterbacks are protected, but like, how do you coach a defensive player not to? You know, it seems like when, when we're watching these, they're all like football moves. They are, right? Uh, how, do you, how do you coach a defensive player not to get in that situation? Well, it's it's more so right the the conflict. Are they a runner or are they not? Right. So when they're out of the pocket. I think the rules are, are easier when they're inside the pocket, right? Again, you can't hit them below the knees, right? Again, you can't land on top of them with your full body weight. Um, still waiting on the explanation of, you know, the slam down and all that stuff. But you know, like, you got to make a tackle, right? So it's like we're not going to take away the aggression, but it's again, those things to where we know that are controllable, we have to control. Now, when they get out of the pocket, it's like the fundamental law or the thought is this, aim for the chest. If he slides, fly over the top. There it is. <laughs>